uh, this is the uppermost decision making body in the school according to the Bibles. So, um, so we will discuss uh, respectfully and uh, we will we'll come to a consensus inshallah and, and this is all based upon the hadith uh, that, that uh, Prophet Muhammad said that my ummah cannot unite on an error or on, uh, you know, there, there are different meanings for the word that I've translated as error. Uh, but that's what it says. So, so we hope that all of us will make a good decision, inshallah, and we will unite on, on the right thing. Uh, with that, I would like to set a few rules uh, for this conversation. This microphone, the speaker isn't needed. This is a small enough room. We could have, you know, have had a conversation. However, this microphone is, is our controlling mechanism. So the person who has the microphone gets to speak. So if you need to speak, you raise your hand, and according to the, you know, uh, your turn, you come in and you speak. Once you have spoken, uh, you know, you will, you, you, we would request you to limit your, uh, your comments and your responses uh, and your case to two minutes. Uh, Sister Kimba will, will appoint Sister Kimba as our timekeeper. Uh, we'll give her um, a yellow sheet and a red sheet. So when she raises a yellow sheet, uh, we'll find a volunteer. Um, when, when a yellow sheet is raised, that means 30 more seconds are left, and when the red, red uh, sheet is raised, then you know that please uh, you know, stop so that we can continue uh, moving, and we all love to talk. You know, I, I'm one for it. Um, so, so the sequence of uh, events uh, is going to be that uh, Dr. Amna, she's going to come here, and she's going to explain the, the core philosophy of Tarbiya that we feel um, have been the hallmark of, of uh, the organization's success. And Allah SWT has been very merciful that we have grown and we don't, don't need to go into the history. We all understand where, the, where we started and in four years, Alhamdulillah, the resource that, that Allah SWT has given us in the form of Tarbiya School to the community. Uh, so with that, uh, Dr. Ahmed. Yeah. We all know started four years ago in my house, uh, four children. Alhamdulillah, now we have 150 students, 26 plus faculty members, staff members who are extremely dedicated, and we cannot thank them enough for their dedication to raise the children. Alhamdulillah. Um, when we were starting the school, we did a lot of research, and through my own experience working with at least three Islamic schools before, I have uh, come to a conclusion that a school should not be under somebody's, uh, some, some other institution's uh, board. It should be autonomous. It should, it should have its own decision-making power. It should be agile. It should be cohesive and, um, and strictly towards, strictly focusing towards the needs of the children of the community. And, and that's what we focused on. We did not focus on anything else but the children. The children were our top most prior priority. Education was the most important and that's why we provide quality education to our students. Whether it be Islamic or academic, um, we can say inshallah. So that, that, that was the main focus of Tarbiya and with the pure intention in our, in our hearts. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes everything easy. We started with zero and alhamdulillah, we accomplish so much. So intention is always extremely important and we always ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, even as a faculty, as faculty when we meet, we always tell each and every person who works with us to make our intention pure and pure only for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to help us serve him in the best way possible. That was my dua when I was doing my doctoral studies. And alhamdulillah, this was nothing that I had imagined. It was like a dream that came through and um, this, and the success can only be, be connected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And each and every day when our, ch our child walks and talks, they talk and connect themselves to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whether it be in math, in English, math, science, social studies, art, anything, you name it, they are linked and they're always connected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and what he has created for us and where we have to go eventually, inshallah. So this is what brought them be here. And this is what our vision is. Alhamdulillah. Jazakallah, Yellow card goes to the race. 
Okay. Uh, alhamdulillah. Uh, I would like to give you a quick overview of this what this proposal is. Um, uh, I'm, I'm sure most of you have read this, but just in case if you uh, did not get a chance. The proposal says that we create a new school called a United School, and the name is not important at this time. We can discuss the name uh, going forward as well. What we are here today to discuss is whether we want to further explore and develop what would be the what should be the structure of the new school what bylaws we will have what constitution we will have and how the school will operate that's all this this proposal uh, asks us to do if we say yes today this does not mean that we will cease to exist tomorrow there are many steps that have to be taken so so basically we are gathered here to to make a decision whether we even want to pursue this any further or we want to shut it down right now so that's where we stand right now. So the proposal says that, inshallah, the, the new school will have its own 501c3. It will be, you know, it guarantees autonomy at that level. That we will have, we will not be dependent on anybody else's 501c3 school will be autonomous. The constitution and the and the bylaws, initial bylaws, initial constitution will be will be agreed upon by both ISD and Tarbiya School Board. Without that, if we don't agree on that, this merger does not go through. We have to agree on that. So, so it has to be somewhere in the middle, uh, you know, uh, between ISD's uh, concerns and Tarbiya's concerns. The document also says uh, that uh, that ISD will become uh, will will become owner of the real estate and bank accounts and and you know all the all the physical assets that we have. Uh, however, it also says that we can, we will be independent, the new school will be independent in its decision making, in its operations. It will not be dependent on who is hired, who is fired, uh, how parents come in, how, how children are admitted, and how you know uh, the academic process takes place. It does not put any restriction <laughs> on that. Where it does put a restriction on that is that if we make a change, in the constitution or the bylaws, or if we change the composition of the school board or the board of trustees. At that point, ISD will have an opportunity within two weeks with two third majority to challenge something. If they do not challenge something in two weeks with two third majority, the, the decision of the school holds. And that, that becomes legal and valid and nobody can make an objection on that after those two weeks. Or, or if they didn't have the two-third majority to challenge anything. Um, okay, now this, this document goes into a lot of details. Um, the Board of Trustees would be the, the topmost advisory body. They do not have the power to influence any operations of the school. They only get involved if school board has a problem and they seek guidance from them. So school board of trustees can advise uh, the school board, of, uh, school board of education. Board of education, school board is the topmost uh, body in terms of decision making. In terms of uh, oversight, we have several levels of oversight in this. So for example, something goes on in the school. You know, we expect that the teachers will exercise their, their oversight and best judgment. Let's say if they made a mistake, we have principal as an oversight to make sure that things go properly without any problem. If principal could not handle a particular situation, school board intervenes and school board takes care of. So, so there are levels of oversight. If school board does not uh, cannot handle a problem, if there are still problems, then it goes to uh, board of trustees. Board of trustees can also intervene if there is a situation where they need to give advice. If there is still a problem. At that time, school's general body gets involved. If school's general body makes a decision, there is still 21 board members from ISD who can, um, uh, in, in extreme cases, they can intervene and they can also advise. Um, and of course, if you go to ISD's bylaws, then ISD's general body also takes precedence over whatever ISD board decides. So there are levels of, you know, this, uh, personally, there, there are problems with the agility in this case because there are too many complicated levels. However, this is what the proposal describes. 
Uh, initial board of trustees will be four nominees from ISD, three nominees from Tarbiya School, which I understand, which verbal, uh, in, through the verbal conversations, I have been assured that it will basically be three nominees from Tarbiya, three nominees from ISD. The fourth nominee is going to be a unanimous uh, uh, person who is, who is going to serve as the president of the board of trustees. So even though it says four and three, it looks uh, unbalanced. Um, in my heart with the verbal assurances and, and we have uh, uh, authors of this document and president of uh, uh, ISD here to assure us that you know that is the case, that, that the fourth person is going to be a unanimous person. In fact, all of these people will be unanimous. We are not going to put anybody who ISD has, has a major objection on and ISD is hopefully not going to put anybody, nominate anybody that we absolutely think is not going to be useful for this, for the new school. Um, beyond that, the next level is uh, School Board of Education. School Board of Education's composition looks unbalanced. Um, it says, uh, you know, for all practical purposes, seven member board, uh, six of them will come from ISD. One person comes from Tarbiya, who is really not the nominee, who's basically in there because that person would be the principal uh, and the CEO of this organization, this uh, campus. Um, However, if I put this in perspective, uh, even though there will be ISD nominees, my understanding from the verbal conversation and verbal discussions is that none of these nominees are going to be controversial people or people who we as Tarbiya do not believe that they are technocrats, that they have the technical know-how and they have the, the, uh, that they abide by the principles that we have set for the school. So we expect that those people will also be unanimous. So beyond that, I, I think the idea behind this document is, is very simple, that we want to create, we want to unify school resources, we want to be able to get rid of the waste. Uh, that happens because uh, you know, of the duplication of effort and, and, and things like that. Um, at this time, I would, I would invite uh, and please, uh, uh, you know, we are, we are gracious hosts and we have guests here uh, to make a case, to give us their perspective and assure us that what I have described is the true spirit of this document. Now, we can, we can disagree on the terms and conditions. We can give suggestions. However, I'm hoping that we will not disagree on the intent of this document, which is very good, which is the unification, which is to bring people together. Uh, so with that, I would I would like um, uh, Dr. Salim Khan to come in and uh, say a few words. Uh, Dr. Salim Khan is one of the authors. Dr. Salim Khan, Dr. Ali Khan, Dr. Sunil Smith, Dr. Jamal, and Dr. Arif Niaz. I think I will have to take more than two minutes because I'm going to get through. Uh, I'd like to put all, everything as much as possible in the shortest time in perspective. First of all, the way I look at it, this is growing pains of a community. When we first thought about ISD, there were 30, roughly 30 active families. And now, you can, none of us can believe that that was true. In last 10 years or so, the Muslim population has grown by five, 10, or maybe even 20 times. If you think about an Eid at Chase Center. So when that happens, particularly in a short period of time, there are going to be difficulties, challenges, blames all kinds of things. The second point that I wanted to make, as unpleasant as it may be, I think it has to be said, how Tarbiya started. You, you heard from uh, uh, Dr. Amna, her perspective. Brilliant idea, noble intention, but I also know what happened was that four years back, there was a small school 
in an apartment. And when this Bakr family took their daughter there, and they were totally dissatisfied with the quality of Islamic education. At that point, because they're like my children, I can say they really panicked. They said something has to be done. That was the last trigger how things started rolling and the rest is the history. But when things happen this way, quickly, there are repercussions. And for the last two years, we all saw it. Meaning, there is a lot of negativity which was generated. There is a lot of negative feelings on both sides. And one of them is, it took us 20 years. I, I, that includes myself sitting on ISD. To come to a point where we said, we are now ready to start a school. And here, these new young people, they right away were able to get the school going. So as positive as it is, an effort, it created some negativity. So we have to keep all that in mind and put it in perspective. Then, these four years generated a lot of misunderstanding. I was not aware of the magnitude of that till recently when I got involved again. With my humble efforts and my style, which is one to one, I tried to resolve some of them. But turned out to be that Naveed Bakar became Naveed Bakar Inc. INC, Incorporated. That here is someone who should be tackled with and all kinds of negative things were said about him because he has been the spokesperson for this organization. Our hope is that all that is put behind and we together can move as a united community. By the way, we, you all deserve congratulations for the effort because I know many communities who do not even do that and they continue to live with this negativity. Now, as a child and family psychiatrist, I also have to identify the issue of identity. Each one of you who's sitting here, Serbia in the last few years has become your identity. To a degree, it is mine too, because there's no question, no secret. I'm a very big supporter of this effort. I'm also a very big supporter of ISD, or any positive effort which takes place in our community. But describing the human thinking and minds and the feelings, there is that identity issue. And same way, there is an identity on the ISD side, which is, we were the first, we are the biggest, Anything else, they have to come second. So those things have to be kept in mind as we work together, that we need to break all those images and ego-related issues before we can move on as a united community. Then, in last few weeks since this process started, I found out die-hard supporters, if I could use the word only on my dead body kind of supporters of both sides, they would have to come to grips with how to work together. And the recent discussions have led to the fact that there is an issue, which is good, that there is negativity between the two organizations. So we no more are pushing it under the rug. So that's the good part. 
of this earth. There has been soul searching on everyone's part, which is also very good. Then, gradually we have reduced or removed some misunderstandings. I don't want to go into detail, but all kinds of negative words have been used on both sides, which are not needed. Then, the good thing that came out of all this is that we may have our disagreements, which even Islam not only allows but encourages. But there are some fundamental issues and values on which each and every individual in this larger community agrees, which is the unity, which is working together, which is helping each other. Hopefully, as we move forward, we will keep those in mind. One thing I must say about the idea of the Islamic school and comparing it with the public schools, I think at times many of us do not do justice. Because if we keep saying that the public school is a place of devil, that's not going to help us Particularly, it is not only not going to help our children and grandchildren, but it will hurt them. Many public schools are doing a wonderful job. Our children and our friends' children, they all went to public schools. And Alhamdulillah, not only they are doing professionally well, but they are good Muslims too. Because I have heard those comments. If you send your child to a public school, it means the end of their life. That's not the case. As a psychiatrist, I will tell you, 50% of the children who come out of a school, meaning graduated high school, they have never touched a bottle of beer or one smoke of marijuana. Further studies show the reason is the training. The training of the family. And at times, we get too paranoid, and we think if our children are in Islamic school, that's the end, and if we send them to public school, that's the other end. That's not the case. <coughs> Wherever our children are, the training is the most crucial thing, and it comes from us, and our own, what we present to them, how we guide them. The last thing, I want to say, irrespective of the outcome of today, I am standing right here in the neutral place. I really like the process. I appreciate it. And this is the best dialogue in many years I have seen, where the discussions got so hot, but people did not lose their perspective. If needed, they even said sorry to the other person. So that's a very good spirit. So let's hope that we all think what makes sense and how we can resolve all those negative negativity which is around us and how we can unite our hands to work together in the best interest of this great community of ours. Thank you very much. put things in perspective, when we started the year, the purpose was not just to create an Islamic school. You know, that was an important perspective, important thing. However, the purpose was to create a good school. And um, <clears throat> I go back that uh, uh, the United States uh, high school students, uh, uh, middle school and high school students rank 37 um, in uh, science and math uh, 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 testing worldwide. So if we compare ourselves that you know um, that the, the school system in America is good enough, that we are, then we are putting ourselves at that 37, 36 uh, uh, rank. Uh, our purpose was to do better than that. You know, be one of the one of the people, one of the schools who can have number one 
uh, science and math and, and everything else uh, scored with Islamic perspective, of course. Uh, with that, uh, I would like uh, Sheikh Badhadi uh, to come in and, and uh, let's try to uh, stick to two minutes, inshallah. It's very difficult, I <laughs> Uh, let me start with this ayah from the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Al Hujurah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna mu'minuna ikhu. The believers are brothers. Indeed, actually, Allah said, indeed, the believers are brothers. Whether you like it or you don't like it, we are brothers and sisters in, in Islam. And this is actually the bond of faith with which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed everyone who offers the testimony of faith, la ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. So that he feels that He's the brother of everyone who has uttered these words. No matter how far, uh, how far apart their homelands, no matter what differences there may be in their race, color, or language, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made it clear in the Quran that all the believers are brothers. And actually, the, the Islamic brotherhood is one of the greatest blessings that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed upon us. The Islamic Brotherhood is one of the greatest ni'mah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed upon us. And Allah said it in the Quran, فَأَصْبَحْتُمْ بِنِعْمَتِهِ إِخْوَانًا So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala called it ni'mah in the Quran, and indeed, indeed, it's a great ni'mah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is unity in beliefs, acts of worship, manners, behaviors, concepts, values, so we are united in so many, in so many means. And actually the main wisdom behind the Friday prayer, Eid prayer, the five daily prayers, fasting in the month of Ramadan, that the act of worship which has had the main wisdom or the divine wisdom behind all the acts of worship is unity. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to bring all of us together. And today, insha'Allah ta'ala, we are here for it. From the very beginning when Dr. Muhammad Khan came to me and he said, we want to unite the, the two Islamic schools in Delaware. Wallah, he asked him, I did not tell him based on what, or what is the deal, what is the detail? I told him, I'm with you, I'm behind you, I'm supporting it, go ahead. Without knowing actually what is inside the book. But the word the unity itself is enough. And yes, there may be different op opinions, and this happened everywhere, as Dr. Salim Khan said. But at the same time, yani, these can be expressed in an, in an atmosphere of love, brotherhood, not in an atmosphere of hatred, conflict, or division. So inshallah ta'ala, let us, uh, all of us, work for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Make sure that the intention is clear. Make sure that the intention is clear. If we have sincerity in it, we have ikhlas in it, then rest assured Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make it easy for us. Sincerity is the most important thing. And no ibadah, no act of worship will be accepted without sincerity. We have to have a hundred percent ikhlas for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We truly appreciate and we acknowledge at the same time what the Terbiya school has done. And rest assured that those who go to Terbiya school are our children too. And those who go to IED are our children too. They are not different from us. So we really appreciate and we acknowledge what the Terbiya has done in the past and in present and in the future, inshallah ta'ala. And we all know this. No, can deny, no one can deny it, inshallah ta'ala. We really appreciate and we express our sincere thanks to the faculty, the staff, the teachers, the principal, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, inshallah, help us to, uh, to provide the best for our children and for the community at large, inshallah. At the same time, I would like to express my sincere thanks 
and your sincere thanks too to the doctors and the brothers who came up with this great idea. Dr. Salim Khan, Dr. Muhammad Khan, Dr. Muhammad Suhaib, and Dr. Jamal and Dr. Riyad. Believe me, doctors, no matter what we say, we will not be able to reward you enough. The only one, inshallah, the only one will reward you for this unity is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So inshallah, the only thing we can do, we pray for you, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you barakah in everything, in your health, in your kids, in your world, in your family, and jazakumullah khair for everything you have done. But this is actually, it's a dream for all of us. Some people said when they started the process, you are God's dreaming. This will not happen. You don't know what is in, what's going on. But inshallah ta'ala, with the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and then our clear intention, that it will happen, insha'Allah ta'ala. We are supporting it, and on, uh, on, on behalf, on my behalf, and behalf of Islamic Society of Delaware, and the president is here, and some of the board members are here, we are supporting the unity, no matter what, insha'Allah ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring our hearts together, insha'Allah. Jazakallah. Jazakallah khair. I uh, also want to say that, inshallah, we, we are united on, on a lot of things, inshallah, and we will always be united no matter what we decide here today. Uh, with that, uh, Dr. Ali Khan, and I once again request, please, two minutes. Uh, in the meanwhile, if you have not looked at the, the useful report, annual report, if you need to look at the copy, please uh, raise your hand and I'll give you the copy. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi Say together, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem, so we get Shaitan out of the conversation. Because Quran says, Fasta'id Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem, so we want to say, let's open our heart, let's acknowledge that there is a rift in the community, let's do not assign blame, let's, let's do not do the blame game. But let's say the order of Allah is wala tafarraku. The Sheikh just recited wala tafarraku. So first we have to acknowledge that there is a deep breath. Then we have to treat it. Without the diagnosis, there can be no treatment. Then treatment is the order of Allah. It's not a choice. Quran says wala tafarraku. That's the sirai order. That's the sirai amal. And Allah has that put that responsibility today on you and me and all of the people here. I'm not a voting member, but remember, every one of you, whoever can decide and will not decide in the favor of the unity, okay, last that opportunity. God has given you opportunity to bring this, this uh, community together. We all have to work for it and bring this community together. This document is not ISV. This document is not Tarbiya. This is a consensus document which means we have come with the common ground in which Tarbiya may have disagreement, ISV has disagreement. But we need to close our eyes, stop splitting hairs, and go for it for the order of Allah, not for me, not for this purpose, not for this purpose, only for the sake of Allah, say yes, I, we as a committee take the full responsibility for all weaknesses, anything that is bad in this document, and we give the full credit to Tarbiya, and we give the full credit to ISB for agreeing with our imperfect ideas. Inshallah, God will do our opportunity, will make it perfect, Inshallah. Inshallah, we are going to make it better we are going to come with bylaws and a constitution. We will work on it, and this will not be just, we want to split the excellence of Tarbiya and the excellence of ISB, combine it together and make an excellent school. We don't want to make a mediocre school. We want to make a school which is independent, which is excellent, which is based on Islamic learning, and which is, uh, Everybody in the community agrees on it. The two minutes are up. The only thing I want to say in the last two seconds is let's unite on something. 
that will bring the community together just to fulfill the Allah's order. Wala tafarraku. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi Our uh, tonight's last speaker uh, is uh, Brother Kamar Ahmed. I must acknowledge Brother Kamar Ahmed. He has, he has fought uh, tooth and nail uh, in ISD uh, to bring in the economy and, and the agility that we aspire. Uh, so, so we acknowledge that and we would like uh, uh, Brother Kamar to assure us, because this is one of the major concerns, if I can summarize for the discussion, that we will lose our economy in decision making, in, in designing curriculum, in, in those principles that have allowed us to create this uh, this asset for the community in the form of federal. That we do not want to lose those things. So, Brother Kamar, just ask. Thank you, Brother Lameed. First of all, uh, let me thank all of you for having uh, us here. And uh, it's the same, it is the same community, even though we talk about maybe different groups, but uh, I don't see it as a different community, it's the same community, and we are part of this same community, inshallah. Uh, but from time to time, people can have frictions, they may have concerns, but that should not really be portrayed as that we are against each other or we are struggling with each other, inshallah, that I believe is not the case and that should not be the case. Um, secondly, I want to also appreciate and thank for inviting us for the Akika ceremony uh, this evening. Uh, but unfortunately, we have a board sponsored iftar at our masjid, so I will not be able to join that I do appreciate it. Thank you very much. And also give congratulations to Sister Monica and Brother Tony for the new child. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless the new child with good health and good iman throughout his life and make him a blessing for her life. Sorry. Her, her life and make her, make her a blessing for her, for, for her parents as well as for the community at large and inshallah for the Muslim, Muslim Ummah. With that said, now uh, this topic about the Islamic school in Delaware, I mean it's a long topic and we can see definitely talk about it and it can it can take a long long time. But I know the time constraint which we have to respect. But uh, first of all I must appreciate and thank uh, you know sister Amina and her her team, all of the members of her team at Tarbiya for doing such an excellent job in trying to start from nothing and coming to this point where we have Alhamdulillah a good running school and also the Rasulullah here, MashaAllah. So it's not, a, it's not an easy job. It's very tough, it's very hard, particularly most of the effort in these kind of things actually come from our sisters and they are Alhamdulillah mothers and they have a lot of responsibilities at their hand, on their hands. And it's not easy for them to really make up time. We sometimes might think that this is just happening, but it happens really with a lot of effort. So I really admire all of the sisters who are involved in this endeavor. And at this point, I would like to just briefly mention that this is story about the Islamic school of Delaware, or Islamic schools in Delaware, it is started about 15, 20 years ago with a very small group of families or uh, parents in the home of uh, Brother Abdullah Wilson. And after that, then there was that transferred into, or, or that, can, that God actually trans transformed into Alhamdul School at a private place, and then that Alhamdul School, Alhamdulillah, became an Alhamdul School in the trainers on ISD. Masjid property, and then after that, in the meanwhile, because let me just mention that, that ISD has this as a constitutional goal, uh, and our, our founders, and some of them are, are here, like uh, uh, Dr. Sareem Khan and Yahya Hashim, these people, they actually envisioned about this goal at that time, at 20, 25 years ago, that it is an important necessity of our society and of our community 
and they put it in our constitution. So it is the constitutional role of ISD to actually provide the opportunities and arrange for the Islamic education in this community. And recognizing that, that even though ISD do not have the ability to actually start a school of itself immediately, but all along the way, it has always tried to help all of the efforts which have been made in that direction. It's starting from that small group which started this school in Brother Villa Wilson's home, very similar to what Sister Amina and Brother Naveen has done, it's starting from nothing and then transforming into a formal good school. And Alhamdulillah, then we moved on. So, but ISD on the side was also trying to develop the real estate and the facilities for the school, but at the same time, it was you know, helping with all of these uh, efforts. So, why I mentioned that, I do not want to miss all of those people either who have really done a lot of tireless effort throughout these 15, 20 years to really turn this noble and important goal into reality. With that said, let me come, uh, let me also appreciate my mind in the same sequence that now the, the, the concerned group of our community, Dr. Salim Khan, Dr. Mahmoud Ali Khan, Dr. Jamal, Dr. Uh, Niaz, Dr. Suhail Smith, these people have brought up this initiative to actually further that goal and try to move towards actually making our efforts turn into an excellent school facility for our community. And we respect that, we appreciate that, we admire that, and even though there are, of course, some disagreements and concerns on both sides or whatever, but at ISD, at least at the board level, we have worked very hard to emphasize on the importance of this goal, and Alhamdulillah, we were able to actually get an almost unanimous vote from the board of directors to approve this initiative, which was brought up by these uh, 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 concerned members of the community who are so, you know, so ser seriously geared towards providing the best education possibilities to our community. With that said, let me move into the, the last segment of my uh, talk, and that is about this proposal. Now, this proposal may, may have twin goals, because one of the goals that we already talked about, and that is to actually bring the community together and really make our, our, our community fabric stronger. Uh, but, but maybe more than that, or more than that, or maybe somebody can say equally important, is the goal of actually looking forward towards providing a educational facility or educational system for our community. And that goal cannot be underestimated. It does have the nobleness and the importance and it does need all of the attention and all of the support which we can provide. A main question which has been raised uh, a few times tonight, and maybe uh, you know it has been talked about before also, and that is about the autonomous status of the new uh, educational uh, organization which will be formed. Even though that organization is going to have some oversight from ISD, but let me tell you, based on my experience, ISD do not have or has not had any desire or ambition to really mm, affect the autonomous status of the school organization. Not now, it was not in the past, and it is, it is not going to be in the future. And based on our experience in the past, let me just mention it to you, that we did support, the ISD did support all of the educational endeavors throughout these 15, 20 years. There were some frictions, concerns, disagreements, but we were able to continuously, able to provide support to those endeavors to the best extent we could. And even today, the IED school which we have, there is no separate organization. ISD has a complete right of intervening whenever it, it, it can, and, and 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 it has the it has the right to really uh, go in and dictate if it wants to. At the same time, it has never happened. It has not happened. ISD has given IAD a very free hand 
based on the bylaws which were actually made four years ago. And Brother Arif Niaz was very instrumental in developing those bylaws and preparing those bylaws. He's not here tonight. I don't, I don't see him. But uh, he's one of the group of these concerned members of the community who are actually brought, bringing forward this initiative. So at that time also, from your concern, which you have, and it has been talked about a few times tonight, is a very valid concern. And it is not a new concern, let me tell you this, that whenever you know we want to form a body or an organization for running a school, we do not want that body or organization to be bogged down by day-to-day -day affairs of another organization or day-to-day -day intervention of another organization. So it was discussed at length when we were developing the bylaws for IAD and ILD was committed that we have no intention of intervening into IAD's you know, day-to-day -day operations. And that's how those bylaws were set. And only based on those bylaws, ISD has mostly respected and honored that commitment. And we have given a very free hand to IAD. But we have been there to help IAD as and when the help has been needed. Yes, there may be some instances, people may recall, there have been some issues, there have been some frictions from time to time. But mostly if you look at the overall picture, we have been successfully, we have been able to do that. And that is our intention in the future also. And inshallah we are committed to do that. And may Allah help us in, in, in fulfilling you know, that commitment which we intend to make. With that said, I think that you know my two minutes or more than two minutes or four minutes or whatever are over. But, uh, but but I just wanted to mention that that's the most important point. So I would I would like to finish uh, my talk at, at, at that. The last thing that I just want to clarify because brother brother Naveer actually mentioned that the way the way this document is set up, of course you know there are there are nominees from ISD which will be included in the board of trustees as well as in the board of education and all that. But of course it will be counterproductive for ISD to really not nominate such people who will be actually acceptable by the whole board of education or the whole board of trustees. So we have no intention of putting somebody there who just have his own ideas and does not want to work with anybody else. So inshallah our effort would be, even though in finally they will be ISD nominated because that's how you know, this document has been, uh, has been prepared and that's what it calls for. They will be ISD nominees. By the same time, they will be ISD nominees who will, inshallah, work with, the, with, with all of the members of the board and the board of trustees and try to actually bring everything together and work towards the excellence, the goal of achieving excellence in our educational facility. Uh, again, in the last, thank you very much and I really appreciate that uh, you, 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 you had us here and also invited for the official ceremony. Thanks. Jazakallah Khair. Um, we will, um, in, in another couple of minutes, inshallah, we will start our conversation. And um, as we do that, this conversation will be only for the, uh, the general body, which includes parents and teachers. Um, so. So as we do that, uh, I, I wrote something. I have, whenever I made speeches, I've always taken notes and bullet points with me before going to the stage. I have never, except maybe when I was four or five years old when others were writing speeches for me to go and make on speech. I have never written a coherent speech to make. This is the first time. Amna was very surprised that that I did this, but I would like to read this to you. The topic of this, uh, uh, this uh, letter basically that I wanted to write to you was why I will vote yes for the school's unification proposal. I am legally bound by the decision the Gen PS general body is going to make today. I will submit to, accept, and uphold wholeheartedly whatever decision is made today because I believe in Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu statement, a hadith, that my ummah will not unite upon error. Therefore, before we vote today, I would like you to consider the following. When Allah SWT promised the reunion of Musa with his mother, even the vigorous river Nile could not harm the baby Musa and took him straight to safety. 
Only a few people can understand the sorrow and grief I am in to see this proposal that asks Tarpia to cease its existence. It is like being asked to put a child in a basket and set him adrift in a river. The common wisdom and human judgment would predict a bleak future and almost no chance for the survival of this child. Personally, I have several concerns in the attached in the document. I also take an issue with a very narrow definition of unity used as a pretext to this effort. I believe we are like blocks of a building where each block and brick can maintain its shape, yet give strength to the rest of the building. All Muslim organizations in Delaware are building blocks for our Delaware Muslim community, and they all have a role to play uh, in their own right. It is also a manifestation of the community growth and needs. However, I fear Allah that if I am wrong in my understanding of the concept of unity, and I say no, I will be standing in the way of those who want to do something good. And I fear Allah that I do not want to be that person. I, I believe strongly from the depth of my heart that, that we have not divided the community. In fact, if we didn't have this disagreement four years ago, we would not have this asset for the community today. So that disagreement brought rahmah and barakah for the whole community that we have today, alhamdulillah. This is why, because I do not want to stand in the way of those who might be doing the right thing. This is why I will vote yes for this proposal. We have a community asset in the form of Tarbiya that can potentially benefit a larger community. We have seen Tarbiya grow from four, four children to well over 150 children and 26 highly qualified and dedicated full-time faculty members, six part-time faculty members, and four substitute teachers with students ages six weeks to grade eight. Allah SWT has blessed us with school administrators who have run the school in a fiscally responsible manner, alhamdulillah, that we have not asked for a single penny to pay for our rent, utilities, and teachers' payroll. We can take this expertise and help all children in the community. The children at IAD are our children. We can create an even better and bigger school. We can build upon the values of character, creativity, and excellence, and have a sadaqa jariya for every single one of us, parents, teachers, and supporters. Take it as an opportunity to be a founder of a new and better Islamic school. Say yes to the question you will be asked today about the unification of two schools. If you have problems or, or concerns with specific parts of the proposal, please feel free to make suggestions or amendments. If you have a proposal of your own that can help the new school, please write it down and share it with the rest of us. However, your yes today is only a permission to move forward and explore the next steps. There are many steps that have to be completed before a new school is actually created. If you say no today, we won't even have the opportunity to explore the creation of an even better school for our children. Human beings find refuge in the status quo. However, we as Tarbiya family have always challenged the status quo. We have done things others can't dream of. With Allah SWT's mercy, we have always, we have already achieved many milestones, uh, but we can do even better. Let us challenge ourselves with improving an already great school system that, that you have helped create. We are cautious, but have entrepreneurial spirit, and I believe we can do this. Once again, I will submit to and accept whatever decision is made today. I will uphold the, the general body's decision wholeheartedly, inshallah. Jazakallah khair. And this uh, commences the, uh, the, the first part, uh, concludes the first part of uh, our program tonight. Uh, we will now start the discussion, and this discussion again is for. Allow me to say just one minute. I need to say something to the Short the microphone.
microphone so I pull it out. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, inshallah, to guide all of us through this. And I, uh, the, the, the call is really noble. And I have to say that I really congratulate the community as a whole, whether it is from the school in Ibrahim School or the school here. When I first came to this community, um, I was really impressed that the, com uh, the community has focused on the education and the masjid has fulfilled the role of education as well. I have heard, spoke to a lot of people from among you and some of them are here. Um, the goal of this proposal is, is, is multiple levels. Number one and the single most important thing is, is Islamically that's what we are requiring to do. When, the, when you establish a community, then you follow what the Prophet has done. The first action of the Prophet in the Medina was to make a brotherhood among enemies and to make a brotherhood among people who came from Makkah and the other people of the Medina. That unity and that example that the Prophet did end up leading the most uh, magnificent and the strongest em uh, empire in the history of humanity as well, uh, as a whole, and that's where we are benefit from it today. There is also another aspect that we are trying to achieve for the school. We are looking to, to improve the education. There is limited resources as of right now, and when you divide two schools, the, limit, the resources are even worse because they are divided. So by combining both schools, we are hoping to really save and make the resources more available for the kids. Number two, we are looking also to invest on the teachers. As much as we would invest on trying to improve the education for uh, the, the kids, we want to make sure that we don't forget the teachers because you, it is the teachers who have got us where we are right now. That's the second aspect. Third things we want to do is, at least from my perspective and the brothers who are, who are I'm really joining their leadership, is to try to, to motivate the community to stand behind the school. Motivation and what we have developed, brother uh, Suhail, is working really hard and together many doctors and to call what they call and, and professionals and business people, to call them the school friends. These school for our friends, hopefully, will commit to a certain amount of money per year, and that would be a fund to support you without the school having to come and ask us for. So you know, we do not want a school to come to us only for the bare minimum. We want the school to have resources to, uh, to be more creative and to do more. That's the second thing. Third thing, we, there's a lot of projects that we are thinking sincerely as a doctors and to try to do. One from a really looking really forward to work and establishing an urgent care in which it will be a non-profit organization that all the fund will go toward the school. It, we do not want the school to wait for the end of the year for fundraising. I want the school to have fund in its hand and to utilize it for creativity and to improvement. I would look forward to start you know, providing our kids with the most uh, technical advantage they can ever get anywhere else. There is no reason that doctors cannot get together and businessmen and come to you and to, to provide you with resources rather than the school coming backward. One final uh, thing. I really respect, uh, and I've been looking at both schools, I think it's a great, great um, achievement. Today I am celebrating. I'm celebrating in, uh, personally in different level. And I'm celebrating with success of an academic and Muslim teachers and uh, administration leader like Dr. Naveed, and on the other side, Dr. Nadan and everybody else, or Brother Nadan. That's by it, uh, itself is an achievement that I'm proud of as a Muslim. Also, uh, the, 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 the other aspect is the vision that the community is paying uh, attention to the education and to the kids. So I hope that we'll be able to move forward. It is for a purpose of improving the education for the kids. It's a, for the purpose to mobilize the community to give more fund and support the school. This is not about politics. And the most single, most importantly, it is the teaching of the Prophet Sallallahu that we are trying to put in actions rather than words and books and in the shelf. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. for your uh, for your assuring words, um, and I think it was worth letting him speak uh, because this was this was the missing part. So uh, with this, I would, on behalf of uh, the general body, I would like to, to sincerely, from the bottom of my, our heart, thank all the, all the authors of this proposal who have worked vigorously, worked hard in coming up with this. We, we would like to thank ISD. We would like to thank all the guests here. 
um, on, on behalf of the general body from Tarbiya, teachers and parents and administrators. Jazakallah khair, and we'll commence the, uh, the, converse, the discussion part. Jazakallah. Yeah. Suggestion here that if you have questions, they would like to answer. Are there? If you have any questions that you want uh, the authors of this proposal or ISD representative to answer, please raise your hand. We can hold them until then. Uh, from parents and and teachers. So you don't have any questions no, for, we, for them? There's no question. You just not enough time. And the community should have time. We will have to open this up. Okay. So, just after that. So this uh, ballot that we have, as we start discussion, I will hand this out. This has, uh, uh, this has a lot of space for you, for you to write down whatever choice you choose. Whether you say no, please let us know why you're saying no. If you say yes, please let us know uh, why you are saying yes. If you have any proposals, so if you see here, there are two different types of yeses. So please choose wisely um, as, as the discussion goes through and, and you make up your mind. Is that what Reasons and uh, practical reasons, 
then the results uh, are matches with the desirable like intent and the desired goals. But when we have right uh, right choice but wrong reason or wrong choice for the right reason, then even if it sounds right in the beginning, in the long run, the result may not match with the desired objective. And if it's wrong uh, thing for the wrong reason, then uh, things really get bad very early. So we have to understand, uh, we have to critically ask this question first, first and foremost, why we are doing what we are doing. From the email, from the uh, proposal, it's the what of the class <coughs> and why the, uh, the community uh, and respected individuals who wrote the uh, proposal have kind of gave a high level overview of why. And from that, what I understood is there is twofold why. One is the unity, and the second is allocation of resources, optimization of resources. And none of us disagree of the need of these two. Unity, everybody wants to be united. And uh, optimization of resources is necessary for succeeding as a community as a whole. So there is no disagreement about these two. What is different in my perspective from my persp perspective of unity is the way I understand unity is we may have our differences of opinions. We may have different sets of you know, even though it's we are all Muslims, but our priorities as families and individuals are different, not the same. We have like how many people here, but not everybody's number one priority for their children is exactly the same. Nobody can say that, say yes to that, I can guarantee. If we were to write down the priorities for our children, everybody wants Islamic education, everybody wants to attain the best education, but if we nail down to very uh, like details, then the parties would differ in terms of Arabic education, in terms of Islamic education, curriculum designing, even the uniform, even uh, the reading, I mean, uh, literatures, everything. So there are differences. And each organization comes with unique values, set of values based on those priorities. And just like brother, sister Amna, brother Navid, they started this school because of those differences in priorities. That's how Tarbiya school started. And that is the only concern about the concept of unity in this document that I have. To me, unity is we may have um, like different schools, but that should not be a barrier for me as an individual to hold personal grudges about against any other person within the community. That is unity to me. My unity is not tied to an institution. My unity comes from heart, it ends in heart. It is not tied to an organization, a brick and mortar facility, a curriculum, or any material object, physical object, physical entity. So that is the different perspective that I have as unity. So uh, that why does not justify for me to go to yes for this document. Did it make sense? Did yeah. I yes. clarify it? Okay. Yes. And the second, second thing is the optimization of resources. It is necessary. And one of the way of thinking is either or. Either the merger will bring unity or not. Here is another difference. I tend to try to think not either or, but and. How can we have, not merger, but still have unity? Because I don't think if we could, if the, this unity is the problem that we are trying to solve, and that didn't come from even two separate entities, then how it can be possible when, as an organization, different priorities, if that brings conflict, how it will bring unity? Then it will be a bigger problem within the organization. It will create bigger friction within the organization with no point to return to. That's how I think. And uh, the second is optimization of resources. I understand that it's necessary, and it's duplicating of efforts. Everybody knows that. So there should be different way of solving this problem. 
My point is, merger and uh, merging two schools into one is not the only way to bring unity and optimization of resources. It may be one way, but not the only way, and we have to be creative enough to come up with alternate solutions. And another point I'll ma mention, I have other points, but for the sake of time, I think I mentioned the basic major point, and the second point is, monopoly is not good. Healthy competition is good. Optimization of resources is uh, needed. That can be done in different ways. I, right away, I have two ideas. If you want, I can share that. But yeah, but that, that's all. So uh, when we have freedom of choice, that balances, you know. Freedom of choice, I believe in freedom of choice. I don't believe in monopoly. OK? So uh, if I have any issue, I can put pressure on <laughs> Sister Ramda Baladu that I don't like it, so you better do it or I will go to another school. And the other school can do the same thing. So it raises the bar and standard. OK? So it's a healthy competition. Only if we see it that way. If we cannot see it that way, that's a problem within ourselves. That's not the problem with structure, school, anything. That's a problem that we have to solve within ourselves. Okay, that's all I wanted to say. So I'm on it. So two minutes, either I talk fast or your clock runs slow. Um, I was also involved in the foundation of Kalibir School. My daughter was one of the first uh, students at Kalibir in very many times. So I am intimately familiar with the challenges that led to the birth of Kalibir School. Having said that, the fundamental disagreement there was there was uh, education around Arabic curriculum, having a published curriculum, providing parents with details of what teach, uh, kids are being taught and so on and so forth. Those objectives are being met here every day, and those objectives are also being met over there in IAD. Right now, we're not talking about unity in general. We're talking about unifying the two schools so that we can have a fastest progress possible towards a high school. That is the, the goal and objective. Now, if we compromise now, we can continuously sustain a Tarbiya school at its current state. Alhamdulillah, we can. Okay? Nothing is going to stop us. We, we can continue to exist the way we are. The challenge is to increase it to the next level when your kids and your daughters are graduating from 8th grade, from 7th grade, where do you send them? To public school? That's not an option. So in that spirit, if you compromise a little, compromise a little, yes, it's scary that, hey, we may not have the full say in how we do things. Or we may. We don't know yet. Those details are yet to be flushed out. As Brother Naveed mentioned, this is a first step towards, do you give us a go ahead or no? towards even having that conversation. And that having that conversation is healthy. That conversation, we should not be afraid of. So that is why I think we should vote yes today. If you have suggestions as to how to improve the particular proposal that was shared, definitely um, there's a uh, place provided here for you to provide those suggestions. And again, this is a, a step towards what that organization will look like. This is not a vote to shut down Turkey today. This is a vote to have a conversation on an ongoing basis so that we have a future for our children. So that's what I want. the schools have to merge in order to have unity. I believe that one of the good things about a school is having choice 
and having an option, which I remember was the statement that I saw from Tarbia. Now you have a choice. So I think that that's a good thing. I think that we can unify on many different levels and it doesn't have to mean the merger of two schools. And in regards to saying that it's either unity or difference, then since we are, are, are looking at the history of Islam, then we could look at the case where the Prophet Sallallahu sent out the expedition and he told them not to pray the Asa until they reached a certain point. And one group said, he means not until we reach this level, and so they didn't pray. The other group said, no, he means until he meant until we start in, in this direction, and they prayed. When they came back to Rasulullah, they both stated their case, which were both opposite. And the Prophet Islam said to them both, you have done correct, and you have done correct. So we can have two separate things, and under the guise of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, both be correct. And, and just to say, when our children are in the seventh grade, as this young sister is here, as uh, Brother Ibrahim's son in here at Tarbia, they'll be in the eighth grade here next year, because Tarbia is moving on with the grade. Um, when I first looked at the proposal, um, I thought that it could be a good idea for merging the two schools, but listening to the speeches today, I'm totally against it. Um, I look at, it still will be conflict and power struggle, multi-level, I think it's premature. Maybe it could be done in the future, but I think this is not the time. Maybe the study can be done without agreeing to the proposal and consider it in the future. But the proposal is too centric toward IAC in charge. Schools should have autonomy, like Don, Dr. Amman said, not run by school boards. I, didn't, I'm, I went to Islamic schools from second grade. I put my children in Islamic schools, and I see the conflict where schools are oversight by boards from doctors. Nothing wrong doctors, I appreciate doctors, but a lot of my medical doctors who don't know education. Schools should be ran by educators, not by boards of doctors. And I'm gonna be really honest, it's never worked my children with the El Asa school, at the downfall of the school, they had to eliminate the high school. They did not, they were centric to their community and the overshadowed the full community and the full voice. It should not be those multi-layers of oversight for schools. Schools should be able to run them with educators should have the ability to run the school. And that's all I have to comment on. Just 
go out. You're looking at it from a micro perspective. Look at it from a macro perspective, please. There's only 150 students here. Only 106 Six students there. This is not a huge community. We're not talking about a huge, a huge organization. I'm hearing the word monopoly. When I hear the word monopoly, I think about millions of dollars and I think about you know, something huge. Uh, yeah, I, again, re-emphasizing the point, this is just a step to move forward to further discuss the details about the unification. This doesn't necessarily mean that, and, and I think Dr. Nabi gave the wrong impression when he said that Tarbiya is going to cease to exist. That doesn't mean that all the teachers are going to be gone, they're going to be obliter obliterated somewhere or, or somehow, and that this building is going to be gone, and, and our children are going to be lost, and uh, it's the end of the world. No, that's not the case. We're going to merge, you're still, still going, to, going to be here. Uh, we're, we're still going to buy the building. Uh, that was part of the talk. Uh, we're just going to, as sisters have said, uh, work, we're going to merge, I think, I don't know how to say it, but on uh, just a title. It's really just a title. Uh, that's what it is. It's, it's way more, I understand. I understand. I understand. There's wording in that that's clearly that you know it's not about just the title. It ceased to exist. And that means cease to exist. And, 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 is, and what about IED? Is IED going to cease to exist? No, yes, it is. It says it in the document. I-S-D-I. Okay, we, again, that's a name. Like Dr. Nabi said, you can always change that name to anything else we want. Why would we make it Tarbiya? No There's no reason to make it Tarbiya. Make it Tarbiya, and we well, have to change. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Now, now, what you, I see your point. You want to think now, you want to monopolize on everything. Why don't they come into us, and we control their assets? Oh, well, because it's not a It doesn't work that way. You can't just ask them, you know, you can't ask them. He's still talking. He wants to keep moving. He's talking. You have to mind your own. They, take the microphone and speak. they make some concessions. We have to make some concessions as well. We can't, uh, you know, we can't be so you know, lopsided. Uh, what I'm trying to say is that Allah is the way that is perfect, and His creations are perfect. We, whatever we make, is not perfect. No matter how much we try to make it perfect, it's never going to be perfect. Uh, again, what this is, is, this is trying to vote on further discussing this topic, exploring this topic. Now, the, somebody brought up the issue of the doctors. The doctors are not going to run the school. And Dr. David said that. The doctors are there to help us finance the school. Please, be realistic. We cannot continue to finance the school on our own, or they can't, or IAD can't do it on their own. This building alone is going to cost us seven hundred thousand. We've been able to make two hundred thousand out of that two hundred thousand. It's only really eighty thousand that we've made. One hundred and twenty or so, we have to pay back. All right, how are we going to finance this? Just us, or you know, the, the hundred and fifty uh, kids and their parents? It's. I mean, we have to be realistic. Just us and Allah. Allah Azza wa is not just with us, he's also with IED. He's with everybody. That's no doubt about it. I'm not talking about Allah, I'm talking about you know, us right now. So the doctor's role, they're coming out of their generosity. They want to see unity, and they are saying that, in general, not just them, but they're talking about in general, that if there is unity, that the person who wants to give doesn't have to think two times, of, should I give to IED? Or should I give to Tarbiya? He knows that he's just going to give to one person or one entity, one organization. That motivates other people to give more. That's what they were trying to say. Uh, again, re-emphasizing the point. This is just a proposal on further talking about details. I would like to hear Sister Sadiq Karim's points about how we can optimize resources without merging. And I think maybe we can still vote on this yes and still do what she, uh, what she, uh, Why do we have to vote at all? Are you a Yes, I am a Tarbiya and IED panel. Well, please, Haka. I have one side here and one side there. Okay, Haka. Everybody, we'd like to make sure that if you have a comment, you come up and speak.
so we can give everybody the opportunity and we are respecting their comments. I just want to add, wanted to add uh, and uh, answer one question. So uh, I mentioned two reasons uh, that I got. One is um, the unity, and that is not really convincing, I think. And uh, number two is optimization of resources. And when I thought optimization of resources, I actually thought like uh, uh, two organizations is providing the same service. And that is really the source of this unity because it's the direct competition. That, that was the source of this unity if I understood. But now another point that Brother mentioned, when somebody wants to donate, he has to think which organization he or she will be donating. And I think this is another major reason why. And the reason why um, ISD or Islamic Academy of Delaware has come up with the proposal is I am assuming now is because the shortage of fund is one of the reasons they're, they're coming or what? Uh, I don't know, but that could be another reason when, when we talk about optimization of resources. But uh, if I want to share my idea, one school can be up to elementary school, other school can be middle school and high school. It, no, it doesn't need merger. It does not merger. It does not need merger. Tarbia school can be Tarbia school with one segment and IAD can be another school with another segment. The community will benefit with complementary service. That would not mean merger of two schools. That is one solution. Or one school can be boys' school, another school can be girls' school. That's just another idea. So this way the optimization of resources can be done, but uh, without competing with very equal uh, service, uh, with complementary service. But I think I think the idea would be one would be up to middle school, another would be up to without merger. That that's the way I think. There needs to be because you know I panicked when I saw the document. I panicked because it's not the people; it's the system that is. I don't want to use messed up words, but it's the system that is the issue. It's not the people. It's the inefficient system. I compare it with public versus private organization. You know how government offices work public offices work. It's not efficient, it's not as productive as the private organization. Because of the less layers here in this organization, the things have moved faster because the uh, getting the job done was the goal, not the process. But I have also dealt with that organization in very like minimal scale, but every experience I faced inefficiency because not of the people. They are highly qualified and everybody have the good intention, everything, but because of the system put in place. They, each individual cannot do things, I mean, fast because of how many people are involved and each person needs approval of another person, another person, and then miscommunication happens. This is like a mess to me. And I don't know why Tarbia School need that system for itself. Okay, that's all. What I got the impression of this um, merging, uh, I know the person, one of the author, made me surprised when I heard his name on, in this um, paper. Not uh, far away, until a few months back, right, right this place, when we were only a few people praying over here in Kali, he came literally fighting with, with us, telling this is Masjid Zarrat, you should not establish the Salat of Saraji and Salat to read over here. Two people, I remember. I don't know what he, uh, how he changed his mind. What he said. Anyway, for me, this is less, uh, tomorrow. I will go to CEO of Christiana Hospital with my cab service, and I will ask him. I want to help you merge, merge with my cab service. See, Mashallah, uh, so we have identity. The both work and the teacher work very hard, and they have built up their identity. Keep this way. 
Keep this way. And Allah will help us, inshallah, as life. Assalamu searching for Islamic school, I had options at that time, and I chose Tarbiya. I didn't choose Tarbiya uh, just because it's an Islamic school. Uh, there were other things. I asked many people uh, who were sending their kids to both the schools. And because we started, uh, I guess, one year after Tarbiya had already started. For unity, I believe in unity. But I think personally, and these are my thoughts, that the divisions in Muslims are because of our extreme thoughts. My feeling there for that school was that if I send my kids there, I'm not against any organization, I'm not, not really making any, I just have a feeling that they may develop some extreme thoughts in them, that when they grow up, they may not walk together with, the, with all the Muslims. And that's the problem we are having. We are fighting with each other and calling it a jihad. But the enemy is killing us, just like fruits. And we, we're doing nothing about it. We're just praying to God in that regard. So I see these problems in society very deep that um, we really literally cannot move forward with each other. And it comes because we develop these extreme parts as a kid. And these come from, and that we have to pick our, uh, where we send our kids. And, you know, I just regret to say if this merger happens, we may be thinking to send our kids back to public school. And that's all I have to say. Thank you. Congratulate Brother Tony for his daughter. That's the first thing, inshallah. Um, second, um, uh, Sister Monica. Uh, sorry, I know that. Uh, congratulations. I know you made them more effort than you, so I'm not going to So, uh, uh, inshallah, uh, I'm just going to say a small story that happened in the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Uh, when the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was making dawah, uh, uh, one of the men that was, was not trying to hear the Prophet at all. And by doing so, he packed all his uh, belongings and uh, he left uh, the town because he doesn't want to hear what he's going to say. So when he got to the next town, uh, after a while, he started thinking about it. He says, you know what? I don't even know why that I left. I could just go back and hear what he's gonna say. And if it makes sense, I'll follow it. If it does not make sense, I'll reject it. So by me saying this, um, I know there's a proposal here. Some of us like it, some of us not. Um, but uh, to me saying no, uh, that does not give us uh, option to, to discuss more. Um, personally, I had my son on the other school, which is IED. I brought, I brought him over here uh, in the middle of the year. I am happy with uh, him being here, I would say that. Uh, but he, next year, inshallah, is going to be 8th grade. My question uh, is, is it going to be ninth grade? And hopefully, inshallah, uh, high school is possible. I have another one in second grade. He'll be third grade. So uh, the resources, uh, I know it's probably limited. Inshallah, the sister, like she said, maybe, maybe another option we can get more resources, inshallah. 
but I, I don't want to shut the door. Around uh, the day journey, a lot of people ask me, why did you shut the door? We didn't leave that option in there for us to discuss. I'm not saying let's merge tomorrow, let's merge next year. But if the option is there, alhamdulillah, we can always sit down. One of the, uh, one of the, I would say, things that I can suggest is let, let the teachers from IED and teachers from Tarbiyah, the staff members, I'm gonna say here, just staff members, no parents, no PTA, just sit down on one table and talk about helping each other. Maybe that's the first step. Just helping each other as a Muslim. Maybe down the road that will lead to something. But if it doesn't, at least there is brotherhood, sisterhood, helping each other. Because they may have something we don't have over here and might have something here that they don't have over there. But if we stop and say, you know what, you're on that side and we are here, basically that shut the door and sometimes the shaitan comes in the middle and start whispering to people, say, you know what, oh, you don't like us? Well, we don't like you either, you know what I mean? And that's, I think that's where the, where we at now, that the community, it, it sometimes you can see some community members are divided. They say, you know what, and you can feel it. I mean, I'm, I'm new to the community, but I, I can hear that, believe me, I heard it so many times. That they say something about here, you say something about over there, but that's not what we are, that's not what the Muslim is about. We have to clean our heart first before even talking about merger or, uh, uh, or doing anything. So, to, and one more thing I will say is, why we're we here for is for the student, not for us. It's for the students, for children. So that's the main thing we need to focus on for the children, because we all grown up, we all probably has degrees and stuff, jobs, but what your child. Uh, I don't want my child to go to ISD and say, oh, well, you were over there, and vice versa. Uh, so, inshallah, I hope we can be a little bit higher in this. And uh, my, my, my dad is, inshallah. Salaam alaikum. Starbia question. Well, we all have so much animosity towards the merger if the merger would have came from our perspective. You know, we ask the question to you first, what do you think about us taking over IED, merging with them to save that school? This is how I step back and I look at the whole merger. They came up with the proposal first, so, so what? Was, was not, did not come from ISD. They did not approach Tarbiyah. It was not them. It was a third party. It was the doctors who came approaching both schools. Oh, okay. No, no problem. I just want to make that but, clear. Because but, but even with the proposal, even with the proposal, my view is this. My, when I initially read it, I thought it's a takeover. It's an acquisition. It wasn't, a, it wasn't until after I calmed down and I, I gathered myself and I asked myself the question about unity. Is unity a bad thing? The way I see it, it's inevitable. You know, at some point in time, we as a community have to come together, otherwise we would deplete our resources as a community. So the question goes, you know, how do we bring unity about? You know, I'm not saying, you know, agree 100% with what was put down in this paper, but what I'm asking is to agree with unity. Agree to open your hearts with the potential of unity. Don't just think of this proposal, think of unity itself. You know, if you agree with any types of unity, I wanna hear your thoughts as to how do we get there? Because I'm not saying we're gonna merge tomorrow, but who's to say two or three years from now, this conversation is not gonna come back up where we're the ones initiating the drive to bring the community together. I don't want us to see so closed off that we're not even open to the idea of coming together because that's not the case. You know. When we first came to this community, my wife and I, we didn't like the feeling we got you know, from the competition. We came here. We didn't know this school existed if it wasn't for them. But that still doesn't matter that if that school gets into a position where, let's say, they're gonna close. Is Tarbia just gonna allow those students to suffer? Or are we gonna find a way to work together? So, 
So, so, so my thoughts is open our hearts up to the thoughts of unity, not necessarily looking at this arrangement that was issued before us as what's written in stone. You know, so when you put your thoughts or you put your comments down, put your comments to the fact that maybe a year from now, two years from now, if we do have to merge and we do have to come together, how do we go about doing it that way? So I'm all right. what I was saying, that unity to me is not tied to an institution, unity to me is not tied to any merger, unity to me is when somebody needs us, we go there and help. If the teacher over there needs training, Sister Amna helps them, train them. If they are about to shut down, I will be the first person to defend don't close Islamic school in Delaware that is helping. So that is to me unity. My unity doesn't define it as a merger or tied to institution. All right, I believe in optimization of resources. I believe in efficiency, productivity, and results. And uh, that doesn't have to be only way larger, at least not at this moment. That's uh, the last point. Uh, we'll take 10 more minutes, inshallah, for the conversation, for the discussion. And uh, then we can allow everybody to contemplate um, individually. If you need to talk to each other, please feel free to do that. Um, uh, and we hope that uh, you know by the time we make a start, you know before that you you'll hand us uh, the paper. Uh, okay, if you have already given it, that's good. That's good. But if you haven't, if you still are holding on to the paper, like if you're still undecided, <laughs> please make up your mind in the next uh, you know sometime before it starts, inshallah. Um, so with that, uh, others, please, Brother Sajid Mani. Any further discussion that needs to take place? Uh, okay, so looks like looks like there is no more discussion. So I'm, I'm going to call one more time. Um, if there are any other points that we haven't discussed already, if there's something that you would like to say, please, this is the time to say it. Okay, then uh, I'm, I would like to make a motion to adjourn this meeting. Uh, if, if there are any uh, people op opposed to this adjourning the meeting or continuing the meeting? No, so we unanimously close the meeting. Jazakallah khair. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Wa la asra inda l'insara la fiya fosra illa wa dina amanu wa amilu salihatu wa tawasa zin khakti wa tawasa wa bis sab. Jazakallah khair. And please remember, no matter what is the outcome, we all stand united. Okay, we all stand united. This is the beauty of Islam and this is the beauty of American culture that we can disagree but we can still be respectful and inshallah we will abide by whatever is the decision and I'm personally I'm standing here um, and I'm promising that I will I will uphold whatever decision we make as a collective uh, community. Jazakallah. How many do you need? Maybe five? five. Minutes?